Oh man. <laughs> I really honestly I did not want to talk about this. I know, right? Guys, it is time to get down to the truth because as you can tell, title is not clickbait, you guys. Unfortunately, my nephew JC is in prison. What's going on, you guys? Kim Anna Camera here. Richard Glass here. Okay, you want to try it again with a little more enthusiasm? Or are you going to sit like that? What's going on, you guys? Kim Anna Camera here. Bridget West here. Okay, so you're still upset. Michael, I'm very upset. Why? I told you not to use that title. Could you stop talking about the title, please? We're not broke. Okay, we were broke, though. No, we weren't. <laughs> Bridget, and you know it. You know we weren't. Yes, I was broke. Why? Okay, why are you giving me shit over this? Michael. What? I told you not to use that title. I don't care, Bridget. Because it appears I have gotten all the for it. What? Yeah. My Facebook riddled. For what? Because I titled it We're Broke. We are. We were. Bridget, the entire beginning of the video, I spent all the... What? What do you want me to do? What, what do you want from me here? You know what they're calling me on Facebook? What? Bridge shits. Bridge In Instead of Bridget, bridge shits. Why are they doing that? They're pissed. For what? Because we're not broke. Honestly, I'm living a life that as a child, I wouldn't have believed that I could live. And so sometimes, I don't know. We were broke. I spent all of the money in the bank. Right, but we weren't because we could have easily just taken out of, you know, crypto. Apparently, you guys do not want me to use the We're Broke titles ever again. So you know what? I'm going to leave it up to you. Smack the like button and I will never do another We're Broke title again. Ever. Unless we actually do go broke. Because if we go broke, I got to talk about it. Obviously. That's like big. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. We better not go broke. Smack the like button if you hate me using the We're Broke titles and I will try my hardest to stop doing it, which includes we have to sell our house, which includes, uh, <laughs> I don't know, we're homeless. I, I don't know, I, although I may <laughs> use that coming up soon. I don't know. I, Speaking of click like, ooh, I want everybody's comments right now. What? I told you beforehand what I was going to say. Why are you so nervous? I'm talking about the most daring thing. Oh. What, what do you think? I was going to lock you in the shed? <laughs> no. I have had a lot of people writing me telling me that they want me to react to the video of when Angry Grandpa was on Most Daring or Most Shocking or whatever the name of the show was. Guys, roll it. It looks like Grandpa has a soft spot after all. Or maybe not. I think you said you had to do the whining Shut up. <laughs> you just shut up, Jake, and I've had it. You know what you can do? You kiss my fat ass, all right? Hey, I'm sorry. If tough love equals real love, this may just be the most loving family ever. Guys, there is an amazing story that you have never heard when it comes to this. I want you guys to hear it. Leave a comment below if you want me to react to that video this week. Do you remember the day we filmed that? I do. Everybody was locked in the back room and the roaches were crawling all over the camera people. And, and it okay. was so hot. Guys, leave a comment below if you want to hear this story and I'm going to react to it this week. Oh, It's man. spectacular. It is. It is. All right. That's our intro. I guess I pissed everybody off in the last vlog. I won't do it. Okay. We were broke though. You pissed everyone off and I'm getting all the for it. Yeah, it was your, I'm going to just start saying it was your idea. I'm going to try really hard to make sure that Bridget doesn't do that anymore. Michael! What? I begged you not to use that title. Well, guess what? I used it. No one believes it. And they, they shouldn't. Okay, for God's sakes, smack the like button. It is what it is. Let's go live our life. Tonight is the Royal Rumble. I better not flip out. Hi, Mia. Hi, Mia. Good morning again. She had a great nap. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> you took like 10 craps, huh, baby? Okay. Oh, oh, you're holding her. You got to change her. Okay, let's go change the diaper, actually, because it is actually pretty. Can't show that. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, guys. Um, if they... <laughs> Holy crap. If they ever write a book about worst diapers that there have ever been, that's page one. That is a 10-pound gorilla shit. 
Like, I don't know how this came out of my sweet girl. Oh, it's it's spellable. I'm going, okay? Holy crap. Oh my god. I'm, it's love different. You. Love you. Oh my god, what have you fed her? Okay, Michael. What if, seriously? I, Do you I give her a gallon of chocolate milk? What is this? I don't know what's going on with oh her. My god. Oh god. <laughs> I gotta walk away from that diaper. Oh god, guys. That's the worst diaper Mia has ever gone. When you watch this in the future one day, babe, this was the day you had the worst diaper ever. Why am I so ugly? Huh? Why am I so ugly? Why are you saying that? Look at my face! Oh my God. That thing has a mind of its own. Dude, I'm pretty sure that thing has a mortgage. Oh. <laughs> I feel like it's got a pension. Okay. Jesus, we gotta feed Mia. Are you just gonna stare at yourself? At, are you, don't squeeze it on vlog. I tried to pop it earlier and something came out, but it, it came back. God, you might have planted more. <laughs> Stop, dude, ew. Bridget, it's just hormones. Well, You're I'm tired pregnant. of it. You're pregnant. What are you gonna do about it? What are you supposed to do? I don't know, not grow pimples? Well, you know what, you can't help it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you're probably gonna grow a lot more because you were trying to pop it. Stop. It's probably gonna grow like 10 times the amount. Michael, stop! Dude, your face is gonna be a flower bed of zits by next week. I swear, I will not vlog ever again. <laughs> if you have like a That'll smiley face of pimples, I'm vlogging it. I'm no, sorry. you're not. Yeah. No, I'll be wearing a bag. You're gonna wear a mask, a bag, but I'm gonna rip it off and show what the hell's <laughs> under it. <laughs> oh, oh I would cry. Let's feed Mia. It's taco time. Oh my God, how painful are we talking? <gasps> what just happened? Oh, 10, 10 pain. 10 out of 10? Oh my god. Okay, being that you were touching a pimple, I think I should be the one feeding Mia. <laughs> oh, it hurts so bad. Looks like you've been shooting heroin through your chin. Okay, Michael. I'm not trying to make fun of you, Bridget. I'm just saying I've never seen track marks on somebody's face before. <laughs> You're okay. one to talk. I don't got no zits. No, you have zits all over your ass. Oh my god, okay, no. Okay, you guys, I am a proud papa because today is the first time ever that Mia eats Taco Bell. Oh my God. Here's the concern. Is she going to get Taco Bell diarrhea like I do? Is uh, that hereditary? Like, can she get? She's like, I want diarrhea and I want it now. <laughs> okay. Aww. The dogs really know what time it is. They are swarming <laughs> because they know Mia's dropping food. Aww. You ready for this? Don't drop any taco. Okay. Here you go, Mia. Don't give that to her. What? No, I don't want her to choke. She wants to eat Taco Bell. I gotta feed it to her. Bridget, she's old enough to feed herself. I don't agree. Okay, Mia, you ready for a little taco? Hand her the whole thing. No! Are we seriously fighting right now? Stop filming me. Okay. I'm covered in zits! Here it goes. Little bite, honey. Oh, tiny little bite of taco, but what? Okay, could you guys like... <laughs> Bella's directly under here, dude. <laughs> She's like, if anything drops, I'm first. Mia feeds her friends. This is so adorable. I know. Okay, these dogs, it's just loud at this point. Trying to feed me and all you hear is... <laughs> or is that, is that my breathing or the dog? Michael. Ooh, Bella just came out from her hiding place. She's, <laughs> she's letting her position known. <laughs> just uh, to the corner, to the corner. Which... <gasps> Oh my god. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> She's like, what the hell? <laughs> I'm very sorry. Oh my god. Okay, um. We have more tacos, right? I don't know. Oh, another taco. Okay. You do it the right way. Don't film me! Dude! Uh, okay. Okay, you guys. Right now, we are watching wrestling, and Bridget made the mistake of putting me in charge of the snacks. Yeah, I could have gotten apple trays with a little bit of cheese and something healthy, but this is the Royal Rumble. This is the second biggest pay-per-view of the year. I gotta eat good. Oh yeah. Yes. I got a weird feeling that people are trying to tell me to lose weight because I keep hearing how healthy the air fryer is and I got like 20 of them for Christmas. Everybody says, that using the air fryer cuts out half the fat from everything you eat. So I've been using it to reheat all my fast food. It's wonderful. I love it. Hey, quick question. What? If I heat up the Taco Bell in the air fryer, does that take out half the calories? No. Huh? No. Bridget. Dada. 
Got pizza roll. Oh yeah. Joe. Okay. Could you guys stop swarming for just a second so we could eat? Now it's time to watch a little bit of wrestling. Bridget, pizza rolls behind you. What do you need? Um. You could look at me. Sonic just got to look in the back of your head. Michael, all these girls. Yeah, I know. You're attracted to them. Can you look at me? Okay, what do you need? I think I'm good. Nothing. Ranch dressing, ketchup, anything? Maybe ketchup. Bella, what do you need? Oh. This is pretty good, dude. Michael, I made an executive decision. What? Get these out of my face. Why? What's wrong with them? I need to stop eating these. Hold up. That, my friend, is genius. <laughs> what have you done here? You just created like a... No, look. <laughs> oh my god. Get it out of my face. Wasn't this like an 80 pound bag? Yes. And you ate them all? How many are How many calories are these? You want me to go I'm look? Cry. You want me to go look? All right. It's bad. That's all I know. All right. Here we go. Uh, oh my God. Come on. Oh my God, Bridget. Michael. How many do you actually think you've had? Probably half. How many are in a bag? 50? That's 25? There is 210 calories and six. So let's do 210 times 20, times five. I'm gonna, I'm gonna feel sick. Two, four, six, eight, so, that's like 1400 calories. Not worth it. Oh my, you had Why did you make those? Because they're delicious. They're okay. They're not worth all that now. They're actually not. Get those out of my face. Guys, Bridget thinks she's going to bed. <laughs> I'm going to need to go get her to do a scene in a second. After this match, of course. But <laughs> I'm sorry, Bridget. <laughs> she left the light on because she's waiting for me. Are you awake? Bridget. Hey. 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 Why are you asleep? <laughs> I'm going to bed. You don't want to watch White Rumble with me? I'm done with that. I'm tired. Okay, um. I had a rough day. I know. I know you're tired. Here's the deal. I need you, uh, <laughs> for the office. We need to film another scene. What? I need you to film it. No. Yeah, I got to do the scene about JC. <laughs> Ever since Bridget got pregnant, she gets really exhausted, especially at the second half of the day. And... Oh yeah, second half of the day, I'm like freezing. By, by four o'clock, she's falling asleep, but honestly, I, I, check need, out like four. I need you for this thing though, seriously. Can you use a tripod? I could, but I, nobody films it like you. Okay. No! You gotta, are you not gonna film it? Yes, I'll film it, stop filming me. Your pimple is popped and you look fine. No, I don't, I'm where, ugly where, today. Where is it? Oh my god. And no, you're not ugly today. You're beautiful every day. <laughs> He's trying to fool. Jesus. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I really, honestly, I did not want to talk about this. I know, right? Guys, it is time to get down to the truth because as you can tell, title is not clickbait, you guys. Unfortunately, my nephew, JC, is in prison. I don't think he's in prison. What do you mean? Well, I think he's just in jail. What's the difference? I'm pretty sure there's a huge difference. There is not a difference between jail and prison. I'm pretty sure there is. Okay, um... I think jail is nicer. Both? You're locked up? You can't <laughs> leave? You're behind bar? I don't know. What, what's the difference between jail and prison? Well, we never heard of a jail shank. <laughs> True. <laughs> Let's look this up. Difference between jail and prison. The key difference, jails are intended for short sentences and temporary confinement, while prisons are for fel felony sentencing and longer than a year. Okay, he's in jail. All right, he's in jail. Well, the title is my nephew is in prison, so I'm gonna get for this one now. <laughs> look, okay? 
I think I feel like he's in prison. Hmm. Is he in prison or jail? He's in jail. I think okay. I need the title to work this time, okay? <laughs> My nephew is in prison. Okay. Where's the button? It's too bright. It is very bright. Oh, there we go. You know, a lot of people have been asking me, where is JC? Because nobody saw him at Mia's birthday party and nobody saw him in the Christmas video and everybody was asking me, where is he? The fact is, JC got arrested. And there's no real easy way to talk about it because honestly, I kind of didn't want to address it because I don't like my drama always being all over YouTube and I don't, I just. I know. It's my family and sometimes you have to keep some of that stuff private because it's just, there's enough happening. The world is already bad enough with COVID and you know, mm. everybody getting sick and the world falling apart. Nobody needs my problems too, right? Like you guys don't need to, find out that my family's falling apart just like yours, right? <laughs> and if your family's not falling apart, then congratulations, you're one of three, right? I know. <laughs> the world is crumbling and my family is no exception to that. And unfortunately, JC found himself on the wrong side of the law. And I wanna talk about it because he's actually getting out very soon. The last time you guys actually saw JC, I was actually having a heart-to-heart -heart discussion with him because he got arrested for running away with his girlfriend. At some point, you're gonna have to like be responsible. You're an adult now. And running off and hiding in the woods with girls while like everybody is looking for you, the manpower that went into finding you. That's, it's, it's, I don't have the words for it. What you guys probably don't know is that a couple of days after that, he got arrested again. And this time we decided not to bail him out. He ran away from home, he was missing for over a week, he came back and he was home for two days. When his girlfriend went missing again and nobody knew where she was and it turned out she was hiding in the closet. As much trouble as he got in for running away with that girl and all the stuff that they did while they ran away, he had her hiding in the closet. She ran away from home again and the police actually showed up looking for her. So when the cops showed up, he started telling Jennifer, listen, if she's here, we need to know right now. And if she's here, we're gonna arrest her and your son right here on the spot. So she's trying to wake him up. She's like, JC, you need to get up. The police are here. And if that girl is hiding somewhere around here, you're actually gonna be arrested. And he did not like the sound of that. So he stands up, he's half asleep, and he pushes Jennifer against the wall. Now at that point, my nephew Jonathan saw it and he jumped in and he grabbed JC. He was like, hey, what are you doing? And JC starts flipping out, hitting his brother, hitting his mother. And this is in front of a police officer. So you can probably put two and two together and find out what happened next. JC got arrested. Now at this point, Jennifer calls me and she tells me what's going on. And she's asking me, does she think that I should bail him out? And honestly, I told her no. The, the kid is going down a path that is gonna ruin his life. He's going down a path that he needs to watch what he's doing, and if he doesn't make a change really soon, he's gonna regret it for the rest of his life. So I told her, you probably should let him sit for a while. It's extremely important that he sit and learn his lesson instead of bailing him out so he can do it again. Because if he does it again, they're gonna hold him for over a year. And that's not something that I want to happen to my nephew. I don't want him to ruin his life and be imprisoned for over a year of his life. Then he will be in prison. Yeah. And that's not something that I want to see happen. So I told him, sit, learn your lesson, start taking classes for anger management while you're in there and come out rehabilitated. And when you come out, we can help you get a job. And when you got a job, we can help you get a car and we can help you succeed in life. But we can't do that if you don't overcome your obstacles. See, our entire family has been really upset since we lost dad. And JC has been one of the prime examples because that was the only father we ever knew. So he's starting to rebel because he feels like he lost his father. And I was talking to him one day while he was locked up and he told me he felt like his pop left him. And I told him, Jay, he didn't leave you. He died. Pop didn't leave me. He didn't leave you. He didn't leave the youngins. He didn't leave my daughter. He got sick and it's nobody's fault. And I told him, if you want to make him proud, because that was one of the things he always wanted to do while dad was alive. 
You know, Dad was taking him to school that day and he said he wanted to prove everybody wrong. I agree, his decision's his. Yeah, but I, I wanna prove everybody wrong. What'd you say, bud? I wanna prove everybody wrong. What does that mean? People, people don't believe in you? Yeah. Hey, I believe in you, I'm on mission, that's what I'm saying. I hate to see you go. Hey, I believe in you, buddy. You've been with me ever since you were born. This is the first time we've ever been this long part. Don't, You're right. It's good to you. Don't worry about it, Dad. We'll miss you, bud. Huh? Hey, yeah, you'll be alright, boy. You'll make it. Poop everything. Wrong. You know, I remember we're on that trip. And on the way home, I remember <laughs> I was talking to Dad on the on the ride home. And I don't know what brought up the discussion, because Dad wasn't really sick at the time. But Dad always had a funny way of dealing with death. Like he always told us, I'm gonna die one day, Mike. And he always wanted to talk about it. And on the ride home, he looked at me and he said, you know, one day that boy's gonna, <laughs> he said, one day that boy's gonna need you because I'm not gonna be here. And boy, was he right. So, I'm trying to do what I think dad would do. I'm hoping that sitting in there actually helps reform him. I'm hoping that, that this will be enough of a life lesson that he never wants to end up in there again, that he never wants to go back. And I think, I think it's working. You know, we've been talking almost every day and he, and he keeps sending me these videos that I wake up and I watch and I just, it's good to see that he's smiling again because it's been a long time since I've seen it. This is a ransom. You have to pay $10 million to get your little nephew back. If not, we're going to Hulk smash. $10 million. Hey Mike, thank you for the uh, money, my books. Does, all, does everybody have COVID or just mom? And, you know, who all has COVID? I just wonder who all has COVID. So thank you for the books and thank you for, for all you've done for me. Are they okay? Uh, are they gonna get treated for it or something? Hey Mike, um, thank you for the um, chocolate and how'd you pack? <laughs> um, just for next week, just get the uh, a medium thermal pack and. Chip pack. Chip, yeah. Chip pack. Please. Thank you. I've been trying to take care of him as best as I can while he's been in there. I've been putting money on his books and buying him food when he needs it and just trying to take care of him as best I can. And Finally, we got the phone call that he's actually coming home pretty soon. He's been in there since September. Wow. And he's finally getting out. And I'm actually really happy to see what he does with his life after this because I love that kid. And... Honestly, me and dad kind of raised him, yeah. you know, because when, it, when he was born, his father wasn't there. All he had was Jennifer and me and dad, you know, I was kind of the uncle, but also kind of the father, right? And when his dad left, it was just me and dad and Jennifer. And there was a period of time where Jennifer's life went off tracks and dad got full custody of the kids and it was just dad. And then Jennifer got her life back on track and we lost dad and now it's kind of us to make sure that he stays on the right path. So Jay, you're gonna see this when you get out. I love you. I'm so happy to see that you're starting to learn and you're starting to just smile again because I know your pop would finally be proud. You always said you wanted to prove everybody wrong. Now's your chance to do it. So he flipped out again and he got arrested. He made a mistake. 
and it's time for him to get out and prove that he's never going to make that mistake again. Oh, man. I forgot about that conversation until now. So sad. Yeah, I remember he just looked at me and he said, one day that boy's going to need you because I'm not going to be here forever. And I was like, Dad, you're going to live to be 100. <laughs> he died like a year later. Maybe less. Jesus, I think that was 2017. Yeah. Well, Pop, I'm doing my best, man. What do you think Dad would have said about that, uh, we're broke title? <laughs> what do you think Dad would have said? Um. God damn, Mike, you broke again? <laughs> God damn, I'm getting... You you trying to piss me off now. I feel like really orbit something like that. <laughs> yeah, I can see it. Oh man. Well, he's getting out soon, so. Cool. Oh man. I can tell he's he's like different and happier. He, he's a lot happier than he was. Yeah. Like, I think he's starting to really appreciate the value of family, and that's that's all I could ask for. Yeah. <laughs>